Gaussian elimination cannot be used to determine the column space. Why not? Because the operations of Gaussian elimination change the column space. To convince yourself of this, take just about any matrix and perform any operation of Gaussian elimination on it and observe that the column space has changed. Now the null space doesn't change and that's the whole reason why we use Gaussian elimination to determine the null space. As we transform the matrix from complicated to simple, the null space is preserved, so it is okay to determine the null space of the resulting simple matrix and then assert that it's also the null space of the original matrix. But the same argument doesn't work for the column space. For example, consider this matrix. Its column space, as all of you should be able to justify by now, is A, B, A plus B. Meanwhile, if you perform Gauss elimination and take it as far as it can go, you will end up with this matrix. And by the way, later on, I will show you how to get this result without doing any work at all. But in any case, the column space of this matrix is of course A, B, zero. As we expected. So in summary, Gaussian elimination can be used to determine the null space because it doesn't change the null space, but the same doesn't work for the column space.